Hi friends, welcome to Tutorial Race and in this video you are going to learn how to set up VPS server and how to add a domain into your VPS server and how to point uh, the name server into your domain. So first of all you will have to, these are the steps we are going to follow. The first step is logging into your server. So I have already logged in here in case of this is my, this is my ODD cPanel so I am already logged in. After that, the second step is go to WHM panel. So this is WHM launch WHM panel, and then here you can find like this. Okay, so you can create new account or list accounts. So in, in my case, I will click on here create account, and the domain name is root. My domain name is root d dot me you can put your domain name here then just uh, select your password from here whatever password you want to create and then simply I'm just going to create here so as you can see now it's successfully created okay now let's go to home page once again and then list accounts here let's find our domain so this is our domain name okay so that's it if you want to check here just let's open it cpanel and then click on file manager public html inside that let's create a file called index.html and inside that we will just write here something like working so that we will know that okay it's fine and it's working now that's it and here you can see our server IP address that is important okay the next thing is and which is different from the normal server in VPS you have to go to DNS John manager so click here DNS John manager and then let's find our domain okay so this is our domain name if you click on manage then you can see this is default name server okay we need to change here so add it and then just put your domain name rather than secure server.net save and once again it will be ns2 then your domain name so it will be like this save that's it apart from that we need to add two error calls okay so how will be that just copy it and click on a record and just put it here in IP address which is already populating here just check this IP and save so you can see one of the records here once again go here and then ns2.me then IP address same now let's save record okay so these are two IP address which we will require in case of domain adding so that's it these are the two changes you require first one this NSNS NS record and in a record we have to add two times this IP address corresponding to this custom uh, digit or pointing to DNS so these are two custom DNS now let's go to our domain so this will go to the domain and i am going to i've already added this i will connect this to so i click here on manage dns this is already hosted on godaddy but i'm going to change here so here i will change ns one dot root 
hyphen d dot me and here ns2 dot okay it says that it doesn't recognize okay what we will have to do uh, you check here three points three dots click on this and host names click on host names we will have to add here host names so host name is ns1 dot root d dot me that means your ns1 dot your domain and then ip address here so ip address we will have to find from here so this is our ip address of server so this is ip address let's click on save yeah it says adding let's wait it successfully added now same thing ns2 then ip address same same ip address in both then click on save that means these are two or the custom dns now once again go back to here dns let's get back there and then we need to change the name servers to save this so let's get back here and we'll check if there is anything wrong dns john manager and then manage ns1 dot this is your website name root it looks like i have made a mistake so once again i'm clicking on this domain and then let's go to manage dns and then these three points host names here actually it will be ns1 only and here also ns2 okay now let's try to add dns management so here let's change it ns1 dot and then ns2 dot like this now click on save it is asking me am i sure really i want to update this yes now it's updated it will take some time and it will up populate and then the website will start working root hyphen d and me sorry root hyphen d dot me so it's still showing bonedi placeholder but after some time after populating the DNS, it will take effect and it will show my real domain. So whatever I have changed here, that means it should after some time it should show. this file with this message so let's wait yes now you can see it is showing that it is working
so that's it guys hope you like this video and you learned how to set up vps server particularly on godaddy and how you can point that to your domain so thanks for watching bye bye